Hi everyone and welcome to your Get Fit for Ski program. We've designed a program that allows your body to get fit for the slopes and ready for your winter holiday. I'm here with Great Britain's number one skier, Dave Riding, and we've combined Dave's years of experience in the sport along with our expertise at David Lloyd Clubs to come up with a program that is designed for you to do two to three times a week that you can do either in the gym or from the comfort of your own home. Hello and welcome. So a few simple and easy to follow exercises can make a massive difference to your skiing holiday from being the best holiday ever to sitting on the sofa in the evening with tired and sore muscles. So before we get started, a big thanks to our sponsors and supporters for the video, Snowsport England, who help the next generation of skiers and snowboarders, and also Sports Pursuit, who will be able to find you some fantastic deals on your ski kit and gear. So when we were skiing and snowboarding, we were constantly fighting gravity and slope conditions. So in order to prevent injury, we have to be able to control our body effectively. So your three-step program is designed to bulletproof your hips, shoulders, and your trunk, and to be done two to three times a week with a rest or active recovery day in between. So don't worry if you're a complete beginner to uh, the gym or exercise, we have a low impact option for you to try for each move that we go through today, which can be done in the gym or at home. Okay, so let's get started. Day one is strengthening and core based exercises. We're going to start your workout with some movement preparation and some mobility. So your first move is a reverse lunge with an overhead reach and rotation. So we're taking a long step back, bending your back leg, keeping your core nice and tight. Your forward leg is parallel at 90 degrees, bending your back leg for your range of movement. We then raise your arms and ever so slightly reach to the same side as your body parallel with the forward leg. Step forward and we follow the same process on the opposite leg. So we have a runner's lunge. We're gonna take a long step forward. Again, forward leg parallel at 90 degrees, positioning your hands inside of your forward leg, making sure that the back leg is fully extended. You then wanna bring your elbow to a 90 degree angle. T rotate the spine, looking back at your rear arm to open up the chest and the shoulders. We're then loading from the back leg and driving back. We then follow the same process on the other side. So guys, Dave is gonna perform a glute bridge with a leg extension. So first of all, he's gonna raise his hips towards the ceiling, engaging his glutes, his hip flexors, and his core, making sure that those areas are nice and tight. From there, he's gonna extend his right leg, hold for two to three seconds, and slowly control the movement as you drop your leg back down towards the ground, and again, alternating from leg to leg. So the next exercise we're gonna do is a squat matrix. We're gonna do one squat narrow and then one wide squat. For me, the squat is the most effective exercise in my training. So guys, the narrow squat is gonna target the front of your thighs or your quads. The wider squat is gonna target your glutes and hips. Now the lateral movement is really effective for skiing. So we have your downward dog into push up, into T rotation. So first of all, we start off in a high plank position, nice straight back, making sure that you're engaging your glutes to protect your lower back. From there, you're gonna hinge for your hips, pushing your bum and your hips towards the ceiling as we hit your downward dog position. Now this one's great for your posterior chain. So it's targeting your glutes, your hamstrings, and the bottom of your leg. Now if you notice, Dave's got a nice low heel, so his heel's nice and close to the ground. He's stabilizing his shoulders here. From there, we're going back into that high plank position, into your push-up, so bend your elbows for your range of movement. Now we're looking for chest around elbow height on here. From there, you're in your T rotation. So opening up the chest and the shoulders, again, looking back at that rear arm to find more range of movement. Perfect. <laughs> All right, guys, so you've got your kettlebell goblet squat. So first of all, you wanna make sure that your elbows are nice and close to the body, keep your chest lifted, pinching your shoulder blades together, pushing your feet out ever so slightly so that we can push the knees out, bending your knees to find your range of movement. We're looking for around a 90 degree angle. Now you wanna distribute the weight evenly for the toes and the heels. Now an effective squat is an up and down movement, not a forward and back movement. So guys, don't worry if you're not a member of a gym. You can do this at home with a water bottle or even a heavy book. Or if that's not for you, you can do it with no weight. So when performing a Russian twist, you wanna raise your legs if you can, rotate from side to side. Now we're looking for a good range of movement. So we're aiming to rotate the torso, keeping your knees aligned and nice and close together. Again, squeezing your core to focus on muscle contraction in the abs. An option, if you need to, is simply place your heels on the ground, lean back so that we're at a 45 degree angle. And again, we're simply following the same process of rotating the torso from side to side. And if that's not for you, 
you can get rid of the medicine ball and do it without any weight. And again, finally, if you're in your home, you can do this with a household piece of equipment, water bottle, book, so on and so forth. So we have uh, your Romanian deadlift. So you're gonna choose a weight that's suitable for you. Um, we hinge for the hips. So pushing your, your bum backwards essentially, squeezing the back of the leg. Again, this one's a great one for the posterior chain or the back of the leg, the glutes, the hamstrings, the bottom of your leg. Keeping your core nice and tight. Again, as we hinge for the hips, you may need to have a slight bend in your legs. This is gonna allow mobility for the hip flexors. If you're feeling up for the challenge, we have a little bit more of an advanced option. We have your single leg uh, Romanian deadlift or stiff leg deadlift. So you're gonna load the weight in the arm parallel to the leg that is raising above the ground. So again, we're hinging for the hips. Really important that you brace the abs on this one. Really effective for your balance. And again, a great strength and conditioning exercise for skiing. Really targets the posterior chain, the back of the leg, squeezing your glutes, your hamstrings, and the lower part of your leg, which is your calves. So guys, we have your renegade row. So first of all, you want a nice straight back in a high plank position, engaging your glutes, which is gonna allow you to straighten out your back and support your lower back. From there, we're raising your arms, elbows nice and close to the body. Keeping your hips square. Now we don't want rotation here. We want to keep the hips square. That's going to allow more pressure on the abs and the lats and the upper back. So if you need an option, you can perform this exercise with your knees on the ground. Again, really important that we have a straight back. So you need to keep your bum low. And again, engaging your abs, glutes. And again, team, we can also perform it without any weight. Okay, so the next exercise is a lateral lunge. As a slalom skier, we do a lot, lot of fast lateral movements, so it's very important for us that we're able to move in a strong way, both left and right. So a great exercise for me is simply the lateral lunge. So first of all, you wanna make sure that your feet are facing forward. Then you wanna take a long step out to the side of your body, bending the moving leg and extending the standing leg. And the wider we step, generally, the more range of movement. You want to keep your elbows nice and close to the body and your dumbbell facing forward. To finish off your session, we're going to take you through some movement recovery and mobility. Now, super important to reduce the risk of injury and also to enhance your range of movement. This is going to help you in future strength sessions and also when you're on the slopes as well. Yeah, so as a slalom skier, injury prevention is massive. And if you're able to have strength through the range of movement, it's going to really reduce the risk of injury. If I get injured before the season through my summer training, then it pushes me back so much. So in injury prevention is as important as doing the fitness itself. So we have your pigeon stretch. So first of all, you want to aim to create a 90 degree angle. What you'll find is that your body will want to internally rotate. So you want to really try and create this 90 degree angle here to target effective hip abduction. This one's also great for the glutes. Option if you need to is first of all, either use your hand to shuffle your foot forward, or again, just have a very slight bend in the knee to take any pressure off. So just slightly bend the knee and drop the foot back a little bit. Perfect. Next we have your downward dog with calf release. So again, in the downward dog, you wanna make sure that you are engaging your shoulders to stabilize your upper body, hinging for your hips, pushing your bum and your hips towards the ceiling, making sure that your legs are fully extended if you can, and trying to force the heel as close to the ground as possible. From there, you're going to begin to pedal out the feet, raising one heel and popping the other heel down towards the ground, alternating from side to side. Again, this one's a great one for the back of your leg and your posterior chain, glutes, hamstrings, calves. Thanks for watching, everyone. Remember to try your workout two to three times a week with an active rest or recovery day in between. So that should be you ready to hit the slopes, have a great holiday and not have those sore legs holding you back. If you want to follow me through the season, through my race season, then please do so through my social media channels. That would be great for me. Thanks to our partners, Snowsport England, who got me into skiing when I was young. If you could help the next generation of skiers and for just £10 purchase the Hit the Slopes membership, which will also give you discounted snow sports insurance and exclusive offers. Obviously Sports Pursuit for helping us as well, where you can go on and get top brands for massively reduced prices, up to 60% off. Get your kitted out for the holiday. So thanks again for watching everyone. Remember to check out your David Lloyd website to find your nearest club. And you can also try our Ski Fit Synergy classes, which is held by one of our personal trainers in club. Hope you all have a great winter holiday, everyone. Cheers, Dan. Thanks very much, Dave. Pleasure. Thank you.